Tonight on this Thanksgiving Eve, Jeff has a very special story about heart, determination, and loyalty. You know, Kelly, those are the qualities found in a guy who has worked at Nike for over 33 years and is an inspiration to his co workers and family. It's a story we call No Ordinary Joe. Visit the Nike campus and you discover it's more than a collection of offices. The buildings pay tribute and are named after famous athletes. And inside the building, named after Tiger Woods, you'll find Joe Brock, hard at work. Joe Brock isn't a star Nike athlete. Joe isn't designing the latest shoe or running gear, but ask anyone who knows him. How are you guys doing? Or has met him, and they'll tell you. This is you. Joe Brock is Nike. We're very proud to have Joe Brock work for us. That uh, he's, uh, in many ways, uh, he re represents sort of uh, uh, the soul of Nike. Ask Joe what it means to work at Nike, and he'll start by telling you when a young Phil Knight first hired him. Wow, the 33 years. I'm going to tear up. Thirty-three years with the watching each and every um, step of the way. Joe grew up in Beaverton, one of eight Brock children. When he was in kindergarten, he was diagnosed as a slow child with a learning disability. Four of Joe's brothers were outstanding football players. Pete, Stan, Willie, and Ray all ended up playing in the NFL. Joe wanted to be like his brothers. He had brothers that played football, and, and he wanted to play football. He went to junior high school. And uh, I mean, he, he, Joe really struggles with uh, coordination at that time of his life. While running laps during football practice, Joe collapsed to the ground. Unable to finish, he ended up crawling the rest of the way. His hands and knees bloody. When you ask him to do something, he says he's going to do it. He does it. He didn't want any special treatment. He, he wanted to do what, what everybody else was doing. Joe ended up as the football team equipment manager. He competed in Special Olympics. Give it your all. Never give up. Please don't treat me special. That was Joe Brock. His brothers drew on Joe's inspiration during their NFL games. In the back of your mind, third quarter for me was always the hardest coming out of halftime. That, and you get super tired, you know, you're just almost wore out. You go, would Joe quit? You yeah, know, you found it. And Joe, Joe brought me to, he brought me to that. Looking deep and you'd find Joe back there somewhere. To Stan, Willie, their brothers and sisters, Joe's the hero. But to Joe? Nah, they're heroes. During his early years starting Nike, Phil Knight had been a neighbor of the Brock family. In 1979, Joe got a job at Nike's warehouse. Watching it from a small company as it uh, grows into a big company, and it means the world to me. One day in 2001, Joe was busy at work in the warehouse when Phil Knight suddenly showed up. Here comes uh, Phil Knight. My mom and dad, my brothers and sisters, and uh, my nieces and nephews came and Phil Knight presented the award for me. The Joe Brock Award honors Joe's loyalty, determination, and heart. When warehouse operations moved to Memphis, Joe started working at the Tiger Woods Center, setting up for meetings and events. The guys that he works with, the team that he's on, they all love Joe. Again, the same work ethic that he had when we were kids. He takes it to work every day. That's his family. Nike's his family, his second family. He's totally, totally loyal, totally committed. You have everything he has to make Nike better, and you can't ask for a better employee than that. How you doing? How you doing, Joe? Very good, thanks, thanks. This is my crew, <laughs> very proud of. And we're proud of you, Joe. Tomorrow morning, the Brock family will get together for their annual Thanksgiving tradition, the Brock Bowl family football game. <laughs> and like he has for the past few years, Joe will be coaching the red team, and he will give his inspirational speech before his team hits the field. They tell me it's like one of those old Lombardi speeches. Aww.
Oh, there you go. That is awesome. You know, the Brocks, you've known them for years. I know they're dear, dear family friends of yours. But to let everyone else oh. know that family was such a pleasure, yeah. especially on the night before Thanksgiving.